Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to create or actually recreate a civil 3D model from an existing CAD drawing. So, for example, I have a drawing here which shows like we have an alignment here, we have some contours and we have a profile view like that. But if you click on this one, these are only CAD lines, these are not civil 3D these are CAD lines. All these alignments are also CAD lines. So these are not Civil 3D. So what I am going to do is I am going to create a Civil 3D model from this data so that we can do any modification. So if it is a CAD drawing, you cannot do any modification with Civil 3D to the profile or anything. But I am going to show you how to create a Civil 3D model out of this CAD stuff. So our first step is to create a surface. So to create the surface, we have these contours. So if you go here and click one of these contours and right click, go to properties. So you can see we have some kind of elevation here. If you select another contour, you can see another elevation here. So these contours represent elevations and they are polylines. So I close here. So what I do now is I select all these contours and go to select similar so it will select all the contours here make sure that they are all selected only the contours are selected not anything in this drawing so I click that one right click click board copy now I am going to paste them into a new, new civil 3d drawing so this new civil 3d drawing is has a template where we remodel our things in the AutoCAD file. So now I am going to paste those contours onto this drawing. So I right click, clipboard, paste to original coordinates. So now I double click my mouse wheel to go to a zoom extent. Contours are here. Now I am going to create the surface out of these contours. So I right click click here in the surfaces on the prospector right click create surface so we will say this as eg this is our existing ground contours so i set the label style like border only for this situation and i click ok so now i am going to add these contours into my surface so i select all these contours then expand the surfaces expand eg expand definition then go to contours here right click and add and so you can set the param parameters as you like i'm not going to change any parameters at this stage so i give this as contours and click ok here so you will see we get a surface so if you go to here and go to object weaver you might see we have a surface created here right i press escape now okay so now, now i don't want these contours anymore but it should be in the drawing i cannot delete them so i i am going to hide these things actually freeze these things now these are currently in a layer called break lines so i am going to uh, freeze this layer so when you're freezing this contours layer make sure that layer is not related to one of your styles so i suggest you to create a new layer if you don't have a new layer on the contours so that they won't affect the civil 3d drawings later so i click freeze here now our surface is okay we have created the surface now i am going back to the autocad file so i already finished the modeling of this things so i go back to here and freeze the things now i i am going to create the alignment so i click this thing select similar so i select all the alignment lines and curves so i again clip copy clipboard copy go to drawing tool and right click paste to original coordinates so now our alignment is here now i am going to create an alignment 
from these polylines. Actually, this is not alignment, this is a polyline. So I go to here on the home tab, alignment from objects, click here, select this one, this one, and finally this one, and right click. And it is asking whether this alignment is from here to here or the other way. So if you can remember, zero was in this side and the end was on this side. So I have to reverse this. So I click reverse here. So our alignment will be going from left to right. So I am not going to change any of the alignments. I uncheck this option and select erase entities. And this time I'll select it as new road design style. And you can set a name if you want to. I'm not going to set it. So I click OK. So I have this alignment now. So if you click here, you can see I have the alignment. So I am going to turn on the labels here. So I am going to turn on my labels. I'll import a label style here. This label style, click OK and click OK again. So you can see our last station is 85.29. So I go to back to the this point here. This is 85.29. So our alignment is correct. So if you want to check if it is so much accurate, you can check the end coordinates of this one and coordinate of this one. If they are overlapping with each other, each other, so that means your alignment is very much correct. So then we have completed the creation of the alignment and profile. Now I am going to create the profile view. So before creating the profile view, I have to create the uh, surface profile. So I click here, the alignment, go to surface profile. So I have this EG, I'll add that EG and create drawing profile view. So not I am not going to set any of these parameters. I directly go to create profile view. So I select somewhere here. So now my profile view looks like this. So if you go back to your CAD file, so it is looks a little bit similar. Yeah, not exactly similar, but a little bit similar because of the surface creation. Uh, so we cannot get the uh, same surface from the original CAD drawing because of the limitations of the contours. But it is kind of a, a very much accurate guess in this surface uh, surface profile. So now I have completed the profile view part. Now what I left is to create this profile. So to do that, what I do is I select this profile and move, select this profile lines, move to the other drawing. Before that, I need to change, check the scale of these drawings. So I, what I do is you can see this is datum 20 and this is 25. So I move to annotate tab, click here to get the dimensions. First, I go here at this bottom and click here what is the distance it is 5 and from here to here I say it is 5 so 20 to 25 that means 5 difference and this is 25 so 5 will be given by 25 length so the scale is uh, 1 into 5 vertical scale is 5 times exaggerated so first if you can remember first I check this height with the what is that value so it is 5 so if this is 20 this should be 21 so if this datum is not exactly at 20 we, we, you will not get 5 here so you will get something else in that case you cannot uh, measure the scale correctly that's what why i uh, check this first value at the first place so now we know this datum is correct so now i delete this one now i select all of these things so before that i go to drawing 2 so we already have 20 here and 25 here so don't worry so if you need to set this to 20 or some other value you can go to profile view properties and you can set it from these user specified heights so i'm not going to change it if you want you can change the heights from here the minimum value from here 
so now I go back to the AutoCAD so I select this one this profile line select similar and I get these tangent ex extensions as well again go to select similar so I create all these things now I right click this time I will use copy with base point and my base point is this 25 elevation 25 elevation I click here then I move on to this drawing right click this time I would go to paste so it asks for my base point I my base point would be this 25 elevation I click here now I have the profile so now I want to convert this into a civil 3d profiler currently I have a small line like this so what I do is I select the profile view go to profile creation tools then I create a profile I am not going to click on any just change any of this I click OK so what I do is I go to my object snaps make sure I am only turn on endpoint snaps here and my object snap is turned on so I go here draw tangents I go to this endpoint click here and then I go to this point this PVI point click here then I move back to this PVI point click here and I move back to here and click here now so it is not going to connect so it is not going to connect properly because of the I think it is slightly going outside so in that sense what I do is I'll stop it prior to that so somewhere here I this time I used uh, object snap override so what I did was shift right click nearest and I shift right click nearest and I click somewhere on bef just before the end I click somewhere here so now my profile is completed I press enter now so now I have the profile view but I don't have the curves so to add curves what I do is I go to here curves option this time we use free vertical curve usually we use this option free vertical parabola pvi based instead we use this free vertical curve parabola click this one so it is asking for the first entity this is my first entity next entity would be this one so it is asking for a curve length instead of the curve length i use this passing through option and it is passing through somewhere here so that curve is completed now we are this I am continuing with the current command so it is asking my first entity would be this one next entity would be this one and now I am going to click here to set the passing true option and now my profile is completed so it is it should be very much similar to the AutoCAD one so there's one more change we have to do we have to extend this up to this end so I click here and it is extended up to the end so I need to check whether these are correct correct with the other AutoCAD drawing so what I do is I'll go here and I drag this out so it, I will get it out from the CAD drawing so I click here and I use I'm using this zoom in somewhat so right I'll make it maximize here so I use this thumb tag icon so it is in place now I am going to here so I'm checking the parameters is 1.84 gradient 1.84 gradient so my level length of vertical curve 27.45 K values are correct 
and this curve same thing and at the end we have the same and so now if you want to check the elevations also you can do that so you go to here profile view properties so go to bands tab and your existing ground is in the second row finished ground is in the third row so finished ground you have to set layout 8 this is your finished ground profile and click ok so now you can check this with the existing ones so your first elevation 505 fg elevation and this is a small change in the existing ground one so the next elevation 26.689 26.689 there's a small elevation with the existing ground profile but the finished ground is very much similar to the uh, old autocad file because the existing ground changes because we created the surface from the contours but on the autocad drawing it has been created from a original data so this surface is more accurate but this is not that accurate but for a comparison surface a comparison purpose this is a good uh, drawing because you can do various comparisons you can do small modifications and see what are the things you can do with this civil 3d drawing so uh, now i click this uncheck this one and i go back to here and put it here so that is how to create a civil 3d drawing out of autocad data so these drawings can be used to do modifications or do some kind of maybe a material calculation and check the materials and all that so especially if you are a consultant it would be a good approach to remodel what you got from a contractor or client to check whether these are accurate so this is how to create a civil 3d model out of autocad data